right, let's take a look. Woo-wee! So today's the day we'll be taking a look at the Westcott FJ200. I have the remote control, I have the S bracket, and also two units of the FJ200. So let's take a look. So the FJ200, right before we open the box, let's take a look at some of this quick information that's right here. It's 200 watts, 450 plus flashes, uh, has TTL, HSS. Oh, I didn't know it had this though, free sync. That's gonna be interesting, free sync. And um, 2.4 gigs, 16 groups, 32 channels. All right, let's take a look, let's take a look. What do you get in the box? Woo! A nice pouch. Now, I think it was about, I think maybe five years ago when I did my first flash units. I think it was a flash point. I think it was like five, wow. Time flies, but uh, definitely technology has changed since then. So I'm hoping, and I'm assuming that this unit is quite small by the looks of it. You get a nice case for your lights, it seems. Let's take a look. All right, first things first. You get the flash unit, obviously. All right, uh, let me see, remove before usage. So let me put this right here. It, it seems pretty small and compact actually, but uh, ooh. All right, so I almost laid the light on the knob. That's a, that's a quick no-no right there. Let's see what else you get in the package. You get your, I'm assuming this is the battery, obviously. All right, the battery's right here. And of course you get your power chargers right here. This is a very interesting power charger. All right. You also get your adapter right here so you can mount this on a tripod and also put your umbrella through, of course. And I noticed that if you take a look on if you take a look at this section right here, you can clearly see the angles. So that is pretty cool. 90, 50, 45, 30, yeah. So that's that's pretty uh, nice touch to it. Hmm. Attention to details right there. All right, let's take a look at what else you get. You also get a reflector, it seems. Yes, a reflector. And here is the cable for the battery charger. One moment. Let me get all that out. And uh, let me just, uh, ooh. I do have this right here. So let's just put this all together right quick then. Let me just put this unit on. I'm gonna screw it in. There we go. All right, let's pop open the front protector of the bulb. And this is what the bulb looks like. It's circular. And let me put on the reflector. One moment. Now for those people that don't know this, this is not a bonus mount. You need a separate bracket for that. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But uh, just letting you guys know. Now this, ref now, this reflector right here is for, I believe, looks like it's... Ooh, okay, there's an opening. And also, okay, you could remove the honeycomb. And I believe, one second. Okay, oh, I think this is magnet right here. Okay, it's magnet in the front. That's pretty cool. And let's see, what else do you get in the pad? You also get, okay, so you put the gels onto the reflector. Let's take a quick look. Let's put an orange gel on this thing. All right, that's uh, that's a user. Th okay. Wow. Okay. One moment. So if you ever need to open this up, just hold down the mount because if you pull it, this whole thing will just come right off. So. And there you go. The gels right there. All right, so let me take off this gel since you guys saw that. Now, 
I'm gonna plug in the battery and then I'll get the remote. So one moment, let me put this all away. All right, so we got the light on his stand. I'm gonna plug in the battery. All right, let me turn on the light. There you go, version 1.02. So basically, I'm probably a dinosaur right now, but these days you need to update your firmware on your lights. I mean, even my Amaran lights right here need, need a firmware update, but uh, even these type of lights need a firmware update. So that's very interesting. So I guess uh, this is the menu. The middle button is the menu. You can scroll what you need to turn on. Actually, we'll definitely do a tutorial down the road, but this is just a quick overview, of course. And um, yeah, let me actually get, actually, you know what? Let me hit the test button. Okay, it works, it works. Now, the reason why I picked up the FJ200 is because number one, it was universal because of this. <laughs> Basically, this is the only reason why I picked up the Westcott because of the universal remote. So let's take a look. Actually, I don't know that this even have power, so. Uh, one moment. Let me turn it on, which is holding this down. Version 2.0. Okay, so you also need to update your firmware on the trigger and the... This is such a weird era, but that's how it is these days. But I don't want to sound old like uh, back in my days. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, let me hit the... Let me see if I could... Put these together okay one moment i'm going to put this together if i can to see if it triggers uh a is manual da, 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 channel eight i'm on channel five right here actually let me show you guys from above i'm doing this on the fly this is my first time ever doing this so hopefully it's that easy so one moment i'm going to go to channel and go to channel eight that should do the trick and i'm on channel eight on the remote Oh, okay, it works. So the light works. Um, I should do. I should definitely do a firmware update before I do this test. But let's see how it works straight out the box. This is my Nikon ZFC. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, what? Oh, it it it, it works right out the box but you should still update your firmware, but it just works straight out the box. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hitting I'm hitting the audience. Let me hit the other way. All right. Uh, ooh, okay, it does that swivel. So you could do this and this. Not bad, not bad. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna push my luck here. I'm gonna push my luck. I'm going to get my Canon R6. I'm gonna turn this baby off. I'm gonna slide it in. I'm gonna turn on the camera. What? It, it works. And the channel, the channel says it's on Nikon, but I actually wish this was touchscreen, but it's not touchscreen, so. Canon RT, there's Lumix, okay. Okay, so it actually fires. That's pretty cool. Let me show you guys the S bracket one moment. Very simple. Um, I'm going to, this is my first time ever seeing this. Okay, very simple, just unscrew this off. It should just fit on it, yes. By the way, this is also a Westcott product, so this should definitely work on this Westcott light, so. Awesome, awesome sauce. So, let me see. This does look a little flimsy right here. But if I tight, okay, you need to tighten it up so it get less flimsy. Okay, makes a lot of sense. All right, there we go, there we go. This S bracket is for your Bowen's mount, so your Bowen's mount will just attach into this unit, and then you could just use your strobe light like that. So that is pretty cool. Actually, let me make sure this actually fits on a Bowen's mount. One moment. I have never done that before. I just turned off one of my lights, but uh, <laughs> but anyways, let me put this to the side. It should just fit.
Oh, look at that. It fits. So here is the bonus mount on the S bracket. Oh God, please do not hit the flash in my face. All right, this is awesome. I don't know why other companies don't do this. I mean, I know why they don't do it. They, they, they'll just sell you more products. They make more money off of it. But uh, one trigger just, just, just changed my mind to buy the Westcott. Now, from here on out, I'm definitely gonna test out the FJ200. So definitely stay tuned for that. And, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Take it easy. Peace.